What causes mouth ulcers? Also called canker sores, these pesky spots appear when the delicate tissue inside the mouth becomes irritated or injured. They can be triggered by accidental bites, spicy or acidic foods, stress, vitamin deficiencies, or hormonal shifts. Huh? Some individuals are more susceptible due to genetics or an overly reactive immune system. Unlike cold sores, they aren't contagious. While they typically heal within one to two weeks, they can be quite painful in the meantime. Hmm. Huh? Why do our palms have lines? The lines on our palms, known as palmar flexion creases, develop before birth and have important functions. They allow our skin to bend and stretch easily when we grip or move our hands. Without them, our palms would be too stiff, making precise hand movements harder. These lines also improve grip by reducing friction. Some believe they hold clues about personality or destiny, but their main purpose is biological. Like fingerprints, palm lines are unique to each person due to genetic and developmental differences. Hmm. Where did pigeons come from? Pigeons as we know today are said to have descended from a wild creature known as the rock dove. It is believed that about 10,000 years ago, people began domesticating as well as breeding rock doves primarily for food. Over time, people realized that pigeons had excellent navigational skills. Pigeons started being used to guide lost ships towards land, as well as to carry messages over long distances. Eventually, instead of looking at pigeons as a food source, people started breeding them as a hobby. Hmm. Huh? What is your skin made up of? Epidermis, the top layer of our skin, makes new skin cells as well as protects us from germs, sun, and the rain. Also, it contains melanin, the pigment which gives our skin its color. Hmm. Dermis, the middle layer, is responsible for producing sweat as well as keeping our skin strong, flexible, and smooth. Also, it is Dermis' responsibility to tell us if something is too hot or cold. Hmm. Hypodermis, or fatty layer, is the bottom most layer. It protects our bones and muscles from injuries during a fall. Hmm. Huh? Why exactly are butterfly wings so colorful? Firstly, butterflies get their color from chemical pigments such as melanin, which absorb certain wavelengths of light while reflecting others. Secondly, butterflies' wings are made up of thousands of transparent microscopic scales. Also, each scale has multiple layers separated by air. Hence, when light passes through these scales, it is reflected multiple times. These reflections compound one another and intensify the colors. <laughs> hmm. What are birthmarks? Birthmarks are colored marks on our skin, which are present at birth or appear shortly afterwards. Birthmarks are of two types. Vascular and pigmented. Vascular birthmarks are caused when a lot of blood vessels clump together. Or they are stretched wider than usual. Pigmented birthmarks are generally caused when cells called melanocytes grow together in clusters. Birthmarks may also be inherited sometimes, and some of them may be similar to marks on other family members. Why do men have an Adam's apple but women don't? Adam's apple is basically a protruding chunk of thyroid cartilage that surrounds our larynx or a voice box. It is more prominent in men because during puberty the larynx tends to grow more in males than it does in females. 
As a result, in men it causes the cartilage to project outwards, thus creating an Adam's apple. Some researchers believe that a larger Adam's apple may also play a role in deepening our voice. Hmm. How does a cough happen? When anything irritates our breathing passage, our brain activates the cough response. First of all, we gasp in a large volume of air into our lungs. Next, our epiglottis closes, thus closing off the windpipe. Then our rib muscles begin to contract, thus putting pressure on the lungs. But as the windpipe is closed, the air can't move out, so more pressure builds up. Finally, the epiglottis opens and air forcefully rushes out, carrying the irritant and thus producing a cough. Hmm.